Hi everybody and all you maniacs out there, welcome back to match number 33 of ML Plays FIFA 15, Hartlepool versus West Bromwich Albion. This is season 4 and this is the fourth time we are playing Chelsea, West Bromwich Albion this season. So far Chelsea, we played them earlier on in the Crystal season Palace. and we had a 0-0 draw. Then we played them in the FA Cup first round and we had a 1-1 draw. Then we played them in the FA Cup replay and they beat us 1-0 after extra time, deep into extra time as well. So today hopefully we'll be able to get a bit of revenge on them. We are currently sitting ninth in the league and in the past five games we've only managed to get seven points we need to do something better than what we're doing at the moment Hartlepool playing in the blue and white stripes West Brom playing in the white we're on four minutes a half on professional difficulty and away we go we're off to the town park today we're playing them Welcome at home so EA hopefully Sports we'll be able to get the result the here as I was saying it's a few Hartlepool minutes ago we've only got seven points West in the last Argon. five games our strikers seem to have gone off the boil completely they just don't want to be scoring goals at the minute and that is making us sit in ninth place as you can see there's quite a gap appearing between ninth and eighth now we're on 34 points Liverpool are on 40 they're six points clear of us at the moment so that's two wins that we need to do to be able to even get above ninth place in this league saying that though we thought we were going to be in a relegation battle and well we're not at the moment luckily enough touch wood everybody touched ahead we are uh, in a mid-table battle which is good anyway here's a starting lineup for today we've got Halstead in goal with Stolarski the new player in the back Nerny Robotham and Kim Chi Wu with the rest of the backs Emmau Hawkins Woods and Compton make up the midfield and Hearn and Alessandra make up the strike force for today. Here's the starting lineup for uh, West Brom. I'm not too certain how decent they are, but uh, let's hope that it's not another draw or another win by West Brom. We need to start getting the wins here. I mean, the last two games that we have won have been against Manchester United and against Aston Villa. Then we lose to the likes of Cardiff. I mean, we lost the last game 1 0 to Cardiff, which was a bit shocking, to be honest with you, and that was in the last few minutes of the game as well. And then we also lost to Chelsea which you know Chelsea are top of this league at the moment but we really did hold on to their uh, coattails and tried to keep it at nil nil as much as we could and uh, well they just scored one goal and beat us but we we seem to be playing really well when it comes against the top teams but when we play the poorer teams down the league or whatever we seem to just ruin it we seem to ruin our season against them but let's hope we can get something from today's game. Anyway, Andre Mariner's the referee for today. He's already he's blown the whistle. Away we go. West Brom going from right to left. Hartlepool going from left to right. And it's Hearn there straight away. Going in with the tackles. Trying to get this ball back. Alessandra, lovely tackle. Gets in. He's in the box. He's got Hearn alongside. He tries to play it across the front of the box. But it gets picked up by a West Brom defender and cleared away luckily enough he didn't run it into his own goal which looked like what he was going to do now West Brom going on the attack down this side of the pitch they get stuck though when they come up against M. Mao he gets a tackle in they get the ball back and it's Hearn knocks it forward to Alessandra Alessandra looking for support but the referee has seen the linesman flag waving like mad and he's given Alessandra offside it didn't look like an offside decision to me uh, I don't know, that could have been level with the player at the bottom of the pitch. It did look very flipping close. Anyway, West Brom kicking off again with the free kick and now they're going on the attack. That was a lovely bit of uh, bit of skill to get round the, yeah, the uh, Hartlepool defenders. And then that shot from the edge of the penalty area was absolutely and, uh, shocking. That is an issue, isn't it? Uh, the longer it goes on without a goal, well, it starts nagging away at the back of your mind. There we go. The Even the other commentators are now talking about Alessandra's lack of form at the moment. Just can't seem to put the ball in the net every now and then he does. I mean, I know he's been out for an injury and all the rest of it, but he's come back and I expected him to pick up and start banging on back in, but he just doesn't seem to have bothered doing it this time. I don't know if it's just his skill level is not good enough for the... Uh, 
for the Premiership or whether he just I don't know he just can't seem to score the goals it's as if he, he's just gone and Walking. lost his shooting boots but hopefully Walking. he'll be able to pick it up either next season or if we get another striker in that might be the uh, the next earlier, option to be season. honest with you because some ground, of the strikers that we've got they all seem to be two, not able today, to do Alan. the job yeah, at the minute I mean Hearn he scored one, once in a blue really moon the main guy who was scoring then, goals for Manchester us at the start of the season Lee our manager decided to sell to Bolton so uh, unfortunately we lost him but you know we have to live and learn with that and we have to keep on going onwards and upwards and hopefully we'll be able to score a few more goals and well stay at least in the mid table and not drop down into a rele late relegation battle um, towards the end of the season because I mean we are halfway now near enough through the second half of this season so we're not two quor three quarters of the way through near enough uh, only a few more games to go there's about 10 games left to go after this one that's a great strike by Hearn good save by the goalie as well Ben Foster for some reason whenever we play West Brom their goalkeeper has an absolute blind out and stops us from scoring I think it could be a case of our team doesn't know how to score past Premiership goalies anyway as you can see there Chelsea extending their lead on the title as it stands at the moment with a 1-0 victory at the moment what they're playing where they're playing Chelsea, at the moment against Cardiff, I think that was a full I can't remember Alan who McAnally. it was now. Was fault, but uh, yeah, so anyway, back to this game. We are getting plenty of attacking, but we're just Terrific not tackle. being able to put the ball in the net. There's a lot of midfield play as well. Lovely tackle there by Hawkins to get the ball back. He tries to knock it forward Could to Hearn. Dangerous. Will Hearn be able to go round his defenders? No, nope. he headers it number. and he still loses out to the defender. That's so unfortunate. I mean, that's another problem that we seem to have is the pace. Our attacking well, pace just doesn't so seem to be there. The him, we, that it seems to be the main play. thing that our team is lacking, and that's a goal from West Brom. Four defenders, and he takes it through them all and manages to get a shot off. It's a guy with the special helmet on as well, Limbersky. And he scored a goal. What a brilliant goal by West Brom. The fans in the uh, the away stand are going absolutely crazy. Halstead, I don't know how he's got back in goal because, to be honest with you, I don't think Barber was having a bad time, there. if I'm honest. He but the, uh, the manager seems yeah, to uh, want to change, change it up and he's put Halstead back in goal. And now we're letting goals in left, right and centre again, which here. I'm not too happy about. But there we go. Kim Chi Woo jockeying on the ball there. Three other defenders just not getting stuck in and allowing him to shoot like that is absolutely shocking the manager standing on the side of the, the goal line going absolutely crazy at the team at Hartlepool saying what's going on they had had plenty of the attacking they just haven't finished the ball and then one well, little the run cliche, through Alan, by again, West Brom the and they just it. slot well, it down in the bottom corner past Halstead absolutely brilliant goal by Limbersky but let's hope that Hartlepool can get back improve. into this game now from this 1-0 deficit but as we know, the scoring in the Premiership is a bit of a nightmare at and the minute. So the it's going to be a bit of a fluke if we do manage to get a goal. That's a nice through ball, though, towards her. And tries to get there, but he can't manage to do it because the, the defender pulling him back, pulling his shirt and everything. The referee should have given a card there, really. But he didn't see it, I suppose. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, Mal throws the ball back into Hawkins. Hawkins gives the ball to Mal. Will he get the crossover? got plenty of time to do so gets it over into the centre Hearn tries to that. chest it down but he doesn't manage it and it gets ricocheted into That's the centre of the park there. and now Two West Bromwich Albion are now back time. in control of the ball We've played 45 it's minutes. There's two minutes of added time left on this half at the moment. Will they be able to get back into it just before half time finishes? Or will this be a 1 0 way the that they're going into the, uh, the into the tunnel at half time with West Bromwich Albion ahead? The referee's just dropped the ball. Barahino the there getting injured. He think he's had to go off. Uh, West Brom forced to make a substitution there and it's just before half time. One and uh, really well, the Hartlepool manager the has gone down that tunnel and so and quick today. He's wanting to get his team back down there. He's actually calling them in and saying, get in here, we need to have words. So they make their way down the tunnel. And at the moment, it's West Brom 1, Hartlepool 0.
Bit so of an absolute time shocker, with really, for Hartley Paul today. Let's they can't the really, they don't really want to lose to West we'll Brom back to your again. That will be the, the rest fourth the time they've played them, and well, considering they've had two draws and a loss, it can't get any worse, really. Substitution at half time here for Hartley Paul as well. They're bringing on. Um, Oh, sorry, there's Eda. The Confirmation of the Eda substitute for Berahano went off. And we've brought on Walker now for Lewis Hawkins in this second half. Let's see if Walker can do something run. and bring some magic to this Hartley Pool team. Ball play forward by, uh, by the defender. And the referee seen something he didn't like there. There's another look at the goal. Look, slides in, slides it just straight past the keeper. He knew what he was doing straight away. Brilliant goal. Anyway, it was a free kick to Hartlepool. The referee gave a free kick to us, and it's Kim Chi Woo to take it. He's got movement in the box, so he plays a long ball into the centre, doesn't manage to get onto the head of anybody, and it's headed away by the West Bromwich Albion defence, who are now going on the attack, and that's a lovely through ball to the striker. It looked like he was offside, though, there. The referee's the flag and... Sorry, the referee's oh, linesman's flag has stayed right down. Referee oh, still doesn't Benzie blow for an offside decision. The cross comes over, and a stunning volley goes miles well, wide but um, if it had gone in it would have been a bit of a decent one anyway we're going to make a substitution here is Stephen Ross coming on making way for him is Liam Hearn and uh, well he hasn't really done what he should have done today Hearn no goals once again for him he's actually got booed as he went off there by the Hartlepool players they really need to uh, start getting behind not the Hartlepool players sorry the Hartlepool fans they really Ross. need to start getting behind their team really anyway here's Ross with the ball starting to go forward ball tries to get through it. the defenders loses out West to the midfielders to again and now West Brom going on the attack it seems to be long ball is the uh, is the idea of the day for West Brom. They keep playing that long ball from the back straight over the top to the forwards. And every time it's catching out our defensive back line for some reason. Well, we need to sort of uh, close that down. Anyway, West Brom making another substitution here. Bit of time wasting. Malumbu going off. Booze echo around the stadium for Morrison, who's just come on the on the uh, on the pitch. Don't know why they booed him, but uh, well, it's a bit shocking, really. I think they're booing everybody today. I think the match isn't the best of James matches, Morrison. to be honest with you. But we'll have to wait and see if it ignites into a little bit of fire towards the end. Anyway, the ball there cleared away by Woods. Here's Woods Walker. gives it to Walker. He plays it forward up to Alessandra. Gets tackled by a midfielder. And now they're back on the attack again. He tries to play a lovely little through ball there into the penalty area. Doesn't manage to get it. And now M. Mao knocks the ball back forward to Ross. Ross going on a run. He has got the speed, but he just hasn't got the finishing ability all the time. And with that speed, he's run it out of play for a throw-in to, uh, to West Brom and Jalbion. Another substitution for West Brom. The goal scorer, Lubinsky going off. And it's Sessignon coming on for this second half. The manager going for a more attacking formation. Trying to get some more goals and win this game by more than a 1-0 margin. Ball thrown in by the West Brom player. Nearly went back out of play there by the ricochet. But he kept managed to keep it in. And now they're playing it just between themselves. Emmao trying to close down the ball. Doesn't manage to do so. They played a lovely ball up the wing there. And now they're trying to cut it down so he could get the cross in. The, the cross comes through. across. But he gets... Shot. Well taken out and that was a great strike I think by Sessignon there who, who's only just come on the pitch has a go at goal and a great save there by Halstead as well to uh, to stop him from putting the ball in the net anyway it's a corner to West Bromwich Albion Roof to take the corner puts it into the centre punched away by Halstead don't know why he didn't catch it Anyway, the ball goes well. back across to the West Brom players and they're playing a lovely little bit of passing on the edge of the area. Gets tackled, though, by the Hartlepool defence and now they're running forward. It's Robotham, the centre-half, going up the pitch. Gets tackled from behind. The referee waves play on. Hartlepool not happy about that decision and now West Brom have got the ball. They're taking it all the way back 
and Mal comes across though, so clatters into him, takes the ball back and now they're trying to push it forwards once again, Ross gives it, gets the ball, he's in the penalty area, has a shot at goal and it's the keeper makes a beautiful save and it's cleared away by the defender, there was another player running in to actually smash the ball in as well but he didn't manage to get to it and now we've got a substitution just happened there, Duckworth has come on for Nerny who's gone off complaining of an injured foot, anyway the ball gets crossed over by Hartlepool into the middle, headed away by the defender. This is a good little bit of play here by Hartlepool, putting on quite a little bit of pressure here. Duckworth tries to play the ball back towards Mal, loses it though. And now West Brom are on their own, they've got one man against two defenders. Will he be able to do anything? He's got his player coming down to help him out, he gets tackled though. And the ball gets put out by Ross again, up towards Robotham, who should have come back to defend. He hasn't bothered doing that and now he's up the pitch, he's stuck up there again. There's two West Brom players going down, trying to get back past the four. And now that was a lovely ball out to this wing. Will he be able to get the crossover? Well, he gets the crossover, but kick. just Michael after the ball has forward. gone out for a goal stay, goal, uh, oh, goal stuff. kick. Alstead with the ball, going to kick it up the field. There's 88 minutes played. We've got two minutes left in which to get something from this game doesn't look like it's going to happen and it looks like West Brom are going to be victorious depending on how many depends on how well we defend here and the header at goal just goes over the top of the bar luckily from uh, Jakob there luckily the ball went over the top and uh, Hartlepool will breathe again they breathe a sigh of relief the fans are not happy quite a few of them have actually started walking out of the ground they're not chuffed that we are not able to score at the minute Anyway, it's a corner to West Bromwich Albion. The ball comes over, out to the edge of the penalty area. He plays yeah, it across the front to the other midfielder. Now they're playing it out wide. Loses out to Kim Chi Wu, and this is a last minute ditch attempt by Hartlepool to play the ball forward. He's played a long ball over the top. Compton's chasing it. It's picked up by the West Brom defenders, and there we have it. The referee blows his final whistle, and a cracking display by West Bromwich Albion seals the victory there of 1 0 against Hartlepool. Hartlepool really do need to start thinking about what they're going to be doing in the next couple of games because we've got several really decent and hard games coming up we've got Everton Tottenham Arsenal Southampton all three uh, all four or five decent teams coming up in the next couple of games we need to start getting some wins otherwise we're going to drop down this table further at the start of this game we were in ninth I don't know where we're going to be after this one let's hope it's not too far down here's the uh, the highlights of the game no We'll be able to see that goal again. Here it is. He plays it through beautifully. And look at the and skill the where he takes it around several of the Hartlepool players before placing it in the bottom corner of the net. I think there's something under that hat that's allowing him to do that. And there was a great save by Halstead, stopping the ball from going in from Sessignon when he just come onto the pitch. It was an absolute beauty of a strike. Anyway, confirmation that the game finished of 1-0 to West Bromwich Albion there against Hartlepool. M. Mao actually scored man of the match the that game. God Premier knows how. Aston anyway, here's the scores from around the grounds. City, Read them out, big man. Chelsea 3, Crystal Palace 0. Hartlepool United. It was nil. Crystal Palace West that Bromwich Chelsea Albion, were playing, one. not Cardiff, as Manchester I said City, previously four. in the game, Sunderland, but they've actually nil. managed to Manchester get United, three nil. decent Liverpool, points there one. against Crystal Newcastle Palace United, and extend their lead Hull at City, the top nil. of the table. City, Arsenal beating nil. West Ham Everton, is a good result one. for Arsenal. Queens Norwich Rangers, City one. still Cardiff down at the City, bottom. Everton one. trying to claw Tottenham their way Hotspur, out of the bottom few places now. Spurs beating Southampton keeps them up towards the top half of the this table and here it is Chelsea at the top at with the top 66 table, points Arsenal Manchester City points. and Spurs in all second, coming up behind Arsenal over 10 points behind now third, and then Manchester Hartlepool City have now dropped points. down to 11th in fourth, place in this Premiership points. League hopefully fifth, they'll be Manchester able to United get some points in the next points. game we are next, playing Arsenal though at Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium I hope that you'll come and join us for that game thank you very much for watching this one I hope you've enjoyed 
enjoyed it. It wasn't the best of games, but sometimes that's the way football is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on the next game. And until then, take care and bye for now. The table, second bottom, Crystal Palace with 21 points. Third bottom, moving down, are Southampton with 27 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fourth bottom, Queen's Park Rangers with 27 points. Fifth bottom, rising up the table, are Everton with 28 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites, the links are in the descriptions, as is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching, and until then, bye for now.